Kelpie and today we're going to be doing some recycled art. The materials we'll need is obviously some recycling. I have a can. I've already put some tape around the edge um, because when you're working with cans a lot of times this inside edge is sharp. Um, I have a yogurt container, a raspberry container, uh, a tissue box, and a paper bag. Um, some other things that you are going to need is maybe some tape, some glue, definitely going to need some scissors, maybe some colored pencils. It really depends on what you want to do. It's really up to you what you want to make and whatever you want to make, go for it. Today I'm going to be making a pencil holder. You can make a sculpture or a picture or anything you want. Um, so I'm going to be using this can. And first off, I'm going to cover this shiny metal bit with some paper. I'm going to take off the can holds on this bag. So we're going to get in the way. Let's put those off to the side. I'm going to measure how tall this can is. So that's about the line we want to cut at. quite know how much of it we're going to need. It's a long strip. I'm going to use this side that doesn't have any writing on it. That's going to be the outside. You can measure how much of it we'll need. Just wrapping it around. Okay, that's kind of where it overlaps. I'm just going to cut the excess off. And for me, I'm going to glue it closed. You can really do whatever method works best for you. Maybe you have some hot glue. Um, if you do use hot, a hot glue gun, make sure that you have um, an adult with you to help you out. You can also use some tape. That would work well here. I'm just going to use this glue. Put it all along this edge. Yeah, if I tilt it this way, you can see it a little bit better. I'm trying to put some underneath, just all around the can. We'll see how well that works. Sometimes you just need to experiment and see how things turn out. Because you don't always know. the other side around. Okay. And there. And we can't see the can bit. That's a little drab. I'm going to put some more glue here. It's coming up. Make it look a little bit better, I should probably put some things on it. I was going to make some flowers out of our tissue, my tissue box and 
my raspberry container. I'm gonna take this sticker off. Maybe. And we'll just leave that start to get off. Okay. With this yogurt container, I'm gonna make a circle. What I want to do is put some three-dimensional flowers on here. This box actually has a really pretty pattern, so I think I might just use that side. I'm going to make use one circle. Just make one flower with you guys. a circle. I'm just going to cut some triangles. Make a, I'm just going to make a really simple flower shape. Was turning out pretty spindly. Not necessarily what I planned on doing, but sometimes you don't plan it and it just happens. That's okay. Make them look a little bit better. There we go. That's the general idea, at least. Mm -hmm. We'll just have half of that. You want to bend these up. They make a little bit more of a upward thing. We're having about half a flower right now. You can do a smaller version. Raspberry container. Should get the layer of it. I think I'm just gonna freehand this circle. It's definitely easier with the the yogurt container to help guide it. I apparently am not good at cutting flowers. That's okay. Sometimes art is like that. kind of well. Okay, now we can just layer those. Glue. And after that dries, put it on there. It's a bit of an abstract flower at this point, but 